All right. And back to the tractor. I just want to um, empty this thing out, and then Ed can take it back up the hill. So it's time. Here we go. This is the only big one here. That's a pretty good size. going to go down to the river uh, at his friend's place and pick up some rocks. This is much easier just right here off the property here. How big is this going to be about this big? Uh, or about here? Uh, I would say like three and a half feet across, maybe. I think more like four. Do you think it should be that big? Huh? Yeah, I think we've got enough rocks. Well, we'll start, we'll start spreading them out and see what we got. You can always change them. Oh, yeah. well, you I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, you are. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> You get, me, you get me all down here and I'm filthy dirty and I look like, <laughs> yeah, that's like right. I got dragged through the mud today. And, yeah. What do you think? Is that too big now? No, I think it'll, I think it'll be fine. It'll just kind of, it doesn't even have to be round, does it? No. Yeah. Uh, round, as long as it works. No, yeah. we could make it perfectly round. Well, yours is pretty round. Mine's, uh, mine needs to move down. Now it's almost looking like a circle, except I gotta make a couple of adjustments here. Uh, I need that one. Oh, you had it right in the first place. Did you put it right back where you put it? There you go. Oh, you. You're going to have to start over again. There. There. That's, that's the, the spot. That's the spot. Oh, right. Look at this. Yeah. Voila. A perfect circle. Yeah. That's not bad. I'm pretty surprised that we were able to use those rocks, that they weren't going to fit in that little spot I had to start it on. Okay.
halfway through here because it didn't really drain properly. So, and then and then the water would come down through the middle of this huh. because it was it was coming I'll off. Oh, be darn. Well, this, well this, yeah. Over here, these are the ones. Those gates. That's the that's the oh, gate. Yeah. That's the gate cemetery over you there. Look at the one right. over right through there. That maybe you into these things that the stallions had fun tearing them up, trying to get out to the the mares that were in heat. This is the classic right here. I don't know if he ever got out or not. But look at this one right there, Granny. This, this is the classic, the stallion wants out uh, gate right here. Yeah, we got to get that one. <laughs> Would you believe it? Look at this. Oh my God. That's what they call waffle stopping. What the heck stopping. did they do to that? we got other ones over here that got, they, 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 well, they weren't usable as gates. There's two more over there. And there's right, another I one saw over. those. Well, there's two mares <laughs> in the gelding. The, the, the gray, the white one, is a, that's a Pegasus. He's a gelding. And, uh, and then two the mares. one you see here is um, he hasn't been eating well. He's starting to show ribs, and I give you this. Is, we give him plenty of food. This is uh, uh, Mariah right here. He's 30 and has a hard time with his teeth. Oh. And so we've taken out all the 30. 30 years old. Yeah. No, uh, 30 oh, yeah, years yeah. old. My goodness. No so wonder they're so mellow. Are, his teeth are pretty bad, and uh, so we're putting water in the food, and we're giving him some mm -hmm. love, and he's not going to be with us much longer, probably. Well, you, might, you might fool everybody. Well, yeah, we got the goat pen. You never know. Right. And these are not milk goats. I'm not really sure what these goats do, but just to eat all day. He must he's be back, over there hidden behind the llama. Behind the, yeah, there, he's back in there. She's got the two little Got some food over here. Come on. She's got two little pigs. Come on. Goats. Which what, what, what Mike told me was that the one before Frodo used to run loose and he would butt people's cars and put dents in them. Yeah, that's exactly what you want, a goat that tears people's cars <laughs> apart. <laughs> Dang. Well, I've known some that, that get on top of the cars. I've seen that. What do, they say, what do they say? They can't take your sense of humor away from you, right? So. Nope. Hey, look, we've decorated your car with a new dent. <laughs>